A Higgsfield popcorn demo that ended up making my wife cry. We go full spice mode on Grok Imagine, and we rev things up with an image generator that creates ridiculous celebrity lookalikes. Have a little fun with it too. We test a new background music and sound effects AI. And hey, LTX2, is it me or is it you? All that coming up, let's go. Oh, come on, man, you're gonna have to buckle up for this one. It's about to get crazy up in here. So Higgsfield Popcorn is their new system that lets you string up to eight scenes together. Now that is wild. Perfect for storytelling or I was thinking music videos. Honestly, the results look pretty damn good. Let's check them out. Damn, and for once, maybe characters actually stay consistent. So I tried it out, and I have to be honest, I struggled at first. But once I got the hang of it, I was actually able to get my idea done pretty quickly. Check it out. A modern tale of love. She does everything to keep it together. He tries to keep himself together. I'm not going to make you sit through all of that, that whole thing. That was just basically a fake movie preview that I made for my wife and my anniversary. So that was that. I'm not going to make you sit through the whole thing, though. If you want to see the whole thing, I'll put it at the end of the video. I'll look at you, you old softy. I have my moments. So the way that I was able to do it is all I did was bring two images into Higgsfield Popcorn and then kind of created the story from there. So I had the two kind of Pixar images of my wife and I created and then I just brought those in for the consistent characters, kind of just made scenes based on our kind of story and went from there. You can see it really, it, it had some problems. So I will say you only have eight generation so by me adding the two images that counts for two so i was only able to add six scenes but i kind of switched it up and changed scenes so i was able to add more you can see it had a lot of problems a lot of it said sensitive content for some reason so i had to run it quite a bit in order to get enough images to do the the story the way i wanted it now one thing i did have a problem with when i was trying hicksfield popcorn was doing a, a music video i tried to do a music video first and was was going through the process for that and it just wasn't creating the images i was trying to use cody chrome and it every time I, I would bring another image in it just wasn't creating it so for me it worked for a cartoon but it did not work for a music video right now hopefully in the next time when i have a little bit more time i will be able to test it out a little bit more but for right now this is the this was my result and she said she kind of liked it i like you do you like me i do so grok just released grok imagine to the public it honestly just looked like another average image generator until i saw something called spicy mode what a perv oh stop it look a lot of tools censor the hell out of everything so when grok labels theirs spicy mode i have to see if it was just marketing and oh it's spicy like youtube demonetization spicy so yeah there's definitely no censorship problems over there now i couldn't really bring my own images in and add too much spice please tell me you didn't <sighs> Yeah, but when you create your own images in Grok Imagine, you can spice them up. Muy picante. What did you call me? Anyway, it's not going to replace anything I use daily for right now. Images are fast. I mean really fast. But not better than Nano Banana or Sea Dream for me yet. For videos, same thing. It's really not up to par with Kling or VO yet. What? No soup for you. Now speaking of image creation tools... Remember that Biggie and Tupac video I showed last time from Soro? They still fighting over the same shit. They never learn from our mistakes. Some things will never change. I was originally only able to do anything with that idea here in Rev.com. What is it? Rev? Reve? Reve? I don't know how to say it. Now, I had tried to create some of these images for years and was never able to do it, but I was blown away at some of the images that came back from this website. I mean, the likeness is pretty incredible, right? Now, I didn't just do Biggie and Tupac. I also had um, Bobby Flay 
fighting Gordon Ramsay outside in a street market because, um, I don't know, why not, right? But, I mean, you might be asking, what can you do with something like this? I mean, it's great to be able to create these images, but what are you going to be able to do with something like this? And I don't know, like, if you want to do, like, a quasi-celebrity endorsement, you could bring, like, an image that you create in here and bring it in somewhere in, and, I don't know, like, perform something epic, like, man, if you're still watching this video, there's only one thing to do. You gotta hit that link below and join the Creative Secrets community. Now that's where we learn how to do all this crazy stuff. Like you go ahead and click that link and I'ma look for some waffles. Uh, Scotty, what have you done to him? What's up, I'm Scotty, and this is where you can learn how to not suck at AI content creation. Now, I've been making a full-time living online since 2015, but you know who's better at making money online than me? Meet Kira, and yes, she's AI. She's popular on social media, she helps co-host my YouTube channel, she's really good at singing. New world where they say we're alive, but we, trade every minute. we create short films together. Or we lose the mask. So look, if you want to learn how to not only make AI content, but how to actually monetize it and turn your views into money like a real business, that's exactly what we talk about in the Creator Secrets community on school. You can find the link for that down in the description below. But now, back to the video. Get your ass to the Creator Secrets community, man, and tell them my ass sent you. Just wow. Um, thanks. Anyway, I was doing all those acting moves because my plan was to bring it into Runway Act 2, but I wasn't able to do that. When I brought the donkey into Runway Act 2, it wouldn't recognize the face no matter what I did. I did a bunch of different iterations of the donkey and it just would not do it. It really surprised me because you can do cartoons in Runway Act 2, guess you just can't do famous ones. So that was all for naught, but at least you guys got to see it. So I actually tried Infinite Talk and Kling. The one from Infinite Talk, it came back, but it just was not matching up at all and it just looked really bad. Man, if you're still watching this video, there's only one thing to do. You gotta hit that link below and join the Creator Secrets community. Now that's where we learn how to do all this crazy stuff. Like you go ahead and click that link and I'ma look for some waffles. Even though they did upgrade their, their video output to 1080, so that's cool. But the one that I used was actually Kling. I brought the donkey image into Kling and then just brought the voice in. And that's ultimately how I was able to bring the donkey to life. Let's see that in an instant replay. Next up, Beat Oven, a background music and sound effects generator that I had to check out. Now, I usually use Eleven Labs for my background music and sound effects, but this one's strictly focused on that, so I wanted to give it a shot. Hell, at least you can't use me to test this one, Boomer. Um... <sighs> Alright, so when you go to Beat Oven, you have two options, create music, create sound effects. You heard the sound effects. Actually, that was an 11 lab sound effect. I tried to create tally moaning in, in this and it just didn't sound right. None of them sounded good at all. In fact, um, they sounded a little weird. So let's try the background music. Uh, let's check out the first one. Um, I don't know. It's not that bad. It's pretty solid. I'm not sure about the sound effects. Maybe it was because of the sound effects I was going for, but I don't know if it sounds quite like Eleven Labs does. I mean, Eleven Labs sounds pretty close to Tally. Oh, I swear I'm going to fuck. Anyway, we're gonna see if it it's something I can add into my workflow. And that worked? No. Oh no, not at all. So everyone was talking about LTX2. You gotta try it, it's so good, oh my gosh. So I was like, okay, fine, I'll bite. And I blindly subscribed to the media, the standard package here. Almost went pro, because with things like Kling, Runway, Higgsfield, stuff like that, VidBuzz, I think, all of those I have the upper tier package because I use them a lot and pretty much use up the credit to testing everything. So I thought I was gonna go with the pro, and take advantage of the price, but I don't know, I just went with the standard package and figured I'd upgrade if I needed to after that. So yeah, quick update. They're not good. Like, I, we're gonna break these down a little bit one by one, but it's not good. Character consistency is like, I don't know, like non-existent, I guess. Uh, half of them look like it, you're stuck in like a 2007 video game. The other half, I, I don't even know what's going on. Well, maybe they're just beta testing your patience. 
So let's break it down. And here was the first prompt. It was simple. Woman starts doing jumping jacks. Her breasts bounce as she exercises. Just wanted to test the physics of it. And here were the results from LTX. I, th I mean, they're not really doing anything. I I'm not sure what's really going on. And then this was the only jumping jacks we got. But as you can see, there's something really going on with the face. Um, like, I, I don't know what's really going on with this one. There was bouncing, there was jiggle, but there was a lot uh, a lot of other stuff going on. So I thought maybe, maybe it was my imagination and maybe it was the prompting or something like that. So I went to Kling just to see if they would be able to handle it themselves. You can't handle the truth! This is what we got with Kling. I mean, we don't get a jumping jack, but she still, she remains kind of the same person and we got we got a little bit of jiggle in the right places, right? Not, not in all the wrong places. And you can see that they were all pretty much like this. Um, I, I should, that, that character consistency is off a little bit, but I should have turned off the volume and I think I did later on, but yeah, um, you don't need the sound effects when you're using Kling. That's one thing I've noticed. I, I don't see them useful at all. So I wanted to test another prompt. So we went with this one, another picture of Tally in the morning, uh, woman waking up, looking at the camera and biting her lip in anticipation. They're not horrible. They're not bad. I mean, but they're also not Tally, right? None of them are. Um, I don't know what she was doing in that one. And there is definitely character consistency issues. There's, um, I, I'm, I'm not sure what she's doing in some of them. It, so, again, I tried this in Kling just to make sure I wasn't losing my mind here. Here's a five second clip. Mm hmm. And here's a 10 second clip. character is consistent. So at this point, I figured let's try the easiest thing we can do. The one thing that I have Tally do every time, just talk in her podcast studio. I thought it would be very easy. Woman in podcast studio talks into mic and looks at camera. Nothing hard, nothing crazy. And this is what we got from LTX2. So immediately it changes the angle. Um, and it's, again, it's not Tally at all. I'll, I'll say it does look kind of realistic. Again, this is not Tally at all either. It looks okay, but it's not, see, it's not her at all. Uh, none of them were. They just changed her and made her into something that may, they thought looked like what I was going for, but none of them were her. I guess this was the closest, but again, it's just not Tally at all. Whereas, I mean, we see her annoy us in this video. I mean, add in her charm in this video uh, all the time, right? And I use Kling or Runway or a combination of the two. That. I believe is your winning combo, killer combo, actually. So look, I want to like it. It's fast, it's hyped, but the results head to head just aren't close. Kling to me feels like it's cinematic, where LTX2 feels like a PS2. So yeah, from popcorn to spice to deep fakes, this week's been pretty wild. I'll keep testing all of this stuff and try to entertain you folks as we do it. And don't be afraid to hit that link below and join us in the Creator Secrets community. But get your ass to the Creator Secrets community, man, and tell them my ass sent you what he said. <laughs> A modern tale of love. She does everything to keep it together. He tries to keep himself together. They fell in love, but life started piling up. Between the meals, the dance classes, the homeschooling, and the multiple jobs, they started to drift apart. This October 26th, join Craig as he tells Abby he still thinks of her. Whenever